Welcome back to Spike Zonotic Dual Cup January, yada yada yada. We have Shipyard versus Mirio. We are on Boyle. This is the second match. Watch the first one before you watch this one. 3 2 1 spoilers. Mirio took that one fairly convincingly, but mostly due to just getting the control and being able to keep it. If Shipyard's able to get control early and uh, keep it, I think he will have a certain chance. Mirio. Getting a frag right off the bat before I can even explain what the hell's going on. And taking uh, a bit of control over this game for sure. I think Mirio just picked up all of the major items uh, in one run. So that is really not good for Shipyard, who's now got to try and survive for a few more seconds until they start coming up again. Getting some weapons though, which is going to help a lot. Mirio, I think, is one of the uh, few people who regularly played Boil for a while, while no one was playing this map at all. Many people may recognise it as the first map in the campaign though. But uh, this ain't an easy bot to beat, as Shipyard manages to prove me completely wrong by doing some good damage to him. Mirio, a very controlling player. Uh, Shipyard, quite the same, but also able to play that fast aggressive style, which was the detriment, admittedly, on Fuse. Playing a little bit too aggressively and losing quite a few frags, but Shipyard has gone 4 to 2 up. Very nice start for him. Mirio getting the slap, that slap on them. Now Shipyard going to be taken out again. Mirio will be looking for complete control at this point. Shipyard's going to have to do something to keep keep Mirio from getting true control. But at the same time, you don't want to die like 20 times in a row. <laughs> then, oh yeah, I've got some semblance of control, but now I've got to get 30 frags. Whoops. So Shipyard playing a little bit carefully as Mirio pushes around the corner into them. Nice rocket tree. Getting out of there. Mirio using the Crylink to absolute perfection. Look at that. The Crylink, a beautiful weapon. Pulls when hit. So Mirio able to just pull Shipyard back every time they went up that bounce pad. Pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. Beautiful work there from Shipyard though. Picking up that mega, arm, uh, mega health and then blastering out. Mega Armor is up now, going to drop down, but Mirio's found the position to be able to take the pot shot. Not enough to take out the Mega Armor's worth completely, just one rail, but definitely weakening your opponent and making that less important. Now Mirio. Oh, beautiful angle there. Just spotted Mirio before he took the shot, and there's nothing you could do. No reaction time, so it's going to beat that. Beat being poised. Beautiful blaster work from both of these players. This is a very blaster-heavy map due to the verticality of it, but also the tight corner, so you want to go fast, but be careful not to fall out the edge. Mirio now starting to build up a lead in the frags. But he's not too far ahead now. It'll only take a couple of little moves and Shipyard could have this one back. But at the minute, they're both playing incredibly close game. And Shipyard going to be taken out by that Crylink. Mirio is an incredible Crylink player. Knows when he wants to force an issue, which I think helps you a lot with the Crylink because it pulls the opponent back, obviously, and uh, you don't want to be using the Crylink if you don't want to be in a fight. You know, it, it's not a weapon to be backpedalling with. It's a weapon to use when your opponent's backpedalling and you don't want them to be. So they could be the best defrag player in the world. Could be Dizzy. Could be playing against Dizzy. And if you don't want him to get away, well, just... Spam a couple Crylinks, and he ain't getting away. 
Shipyard trying to find the angle onto Mirio. Finds it but doesn't manage to make the shot. Makes a couple of nice shots there though but just didn't have the health to back up the fight for long enough to be able to finish it off. Going to be here for this mega health. I think it's probably already been taken by Mirio. Mirio has much better timing than Shipyard at this point. I think Shipyard has both forgotten a timing and missed a timing because he's way too early on that one. So potentially Mirio delayed on the last one or potentially just a bit of a forgotten, forgottenness. 4-8 to eight the scoreline though, Mirio in the lead. It's not an insurmountable thing, of course. Very easy to rack up quick frags on this map. With a little bit of luck and a helpful handling of skill, obviously. You've got to get some quite good control and be able to force the issue. But both these players are able to do that style of play. So either of them could rack up some kills. Mirio has a good chance to be able to be playing such a passive game right now. Wow, that was an incredible switch to the uh, shotgun and being able to finish that shot off. We should be having the mega health. There it is. Shipyard going to pick it up. And now moving around to try and take out Mirio. Needs a couple more frags, but look at the beauty in the way that Mirio is playing this. So passively, but yet pushes in there, doing damage, and then able to make the frag with a direct bounce grenade. Opening up the gap again, making uh, making the frag difference wider, keeping the frag difference the same as it was, or bringing it back to uh, to where it was a little while ago, but now making it properly wider. A nice shot from Mirio. Both players have good positioning, but Mirio is able to change his positioning a little bit better, I feel, in this match. So despite both players being able to get into these good positions, Mirio realises that he's now not in the best position and gets into a better position. Much better ratio of uh, armors and healths taken this time with Shipyard, but still not quite up to snuff on Mirio's healths taken. And now you can see that. You can really see the the difference with 2.8 and 2.7k damage. There is also a little bit of doing damage at the right time. Leaving your opponent on 2 HP is basically killing them. It doesn't count towards the scoreboard. Beautiful work from Mirio coming in there. Using the right weapon at the right time. Very low damage but high octane weapon. Just to finish off your opponent in a close quarter battle with the Hagar. Hear that beep from Mirio. He's using the Hagar again. Resetting it with that beep tells you your opponent where you are, but Mirio not too fussed because he's able to connect with the grenade launcher. And he's able to connect with the combo of the uh, quadruple charged Hagar into a blaster. It's a beautiful combo we don't see very often. Now Mirio has a lot of control, a lot of frag difference, and has certainly, again, in the second half of this game, come back up. And that frag difference is only extending as Shipyard's unable to get control, and then goes in to try and get control, and Mirio is able to take, uh, take the shots needed. Good shots from both players coming out here. 
shipyard just trying to get away, trying to keep the frag limit down. Just to make it look a little bit a little bit better on the scoreboard, of course. Always for the best. And there we are. GG. A very close game between these two players. And uh yeah. Congratulations, Mirio. 2 0. Thank you to Shipyard for sending these demos over. And I will catch you in the next uh next dual commentary. Thank you very much. See you next time.